All right, well, finishing up our what I drank for today. Whew. It's a long one. Yeah, geez. Uh, we had, uh, you know, I'm obligated to review anything that someone has the courtesy of bringing by. You know, I'll see three, four suppliers a day sometimes. And to me, you know, the fact that they took time out of their day to come here means they deserve to be reviewed. Even if the wines aren't spectacular, you know, hey, everybody has got different tastes. And it's, uh, you know, I'm always a little bit, you know, when I see an artist wine or celebrity wine or something like that, because, you know, a lot of times you can get, you know, I don't know, you're paying a little bit for the name in some of the cases. And uh, this uh, Wayland wine that Dino brought by uh, the other day, you know, artist turned winemaker, mm, not so much. But the wines were good. You know what? They weren't bad. And if you're into, you know, colorful labels and stuff like that, I mean, you know, they're not that expensive either. You know, 20 bucks, 24 bucks for the cab. So, you know, good little wines. Good. All right. The Chardonnay and a nice note of creme caramel to the nose here. Hits of vanilla and a candied apple-like tropical fruit. Uh, Pine Ridge is uh, where they made this wine. I think you got the fruit there as well. And a nice hand of candied tropical fruit on the tongue with a nice amount of toasty oak spice. Uh, Put a little Chardonnay. Okay, the Cabernet Sauvignon. You know, this lovely dark, uh, this is from Sonoma, by the way. The Chardonnay from Napa and the Cabernet from Sonoma. Uh, dark kind of uh, black currant, black cherry fruit in the nose. Almost kind of Kirsch-like jamminess. Uh, sweet tobacco spice also. Some dark cocoa showing. Uh, dark berry fruit on the tongue with smooth and round tannins. A little bit of sweet tobacco spice. Uh, nice length on the finish, but turning a little bit chalky and a little bit dry there at the end. But... Uh, you know, a good little Cabernet, too, from Wayland, the artist. All right, that's what I had to drink yesterday. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember...